Okay, so we've all heard today a lot of specific, practical, generally optimistic takes on the future of VR, and I'm here to change all that. Uh, so I think there's a light side and a dark side to VR, and there is good news and bad news in each one of those sides. So light side first. That is what we have been spending basically this whole class investigating. It's the side that connects people together, that fosters empathy. And the good news on this side is that parts of this are an obvious home run. I don't need to be too earnestly persuaded to adopt Skype 2.0 and get even closer to my parents or closer to my girlfriend in a transcontinental call. Uh, the bad news is a lot of the more out there applications, I'm probably not going to use unless I'm forced to. Uh, just speaking personally, I'm really passionate about international development. And I would never have taken it upon myself to discover the Jordanian refugee camp simulation unless I had been assigned it in this class. So within that light side, there's a lot of great stuff, but we're going to have to think about not just how to create it, but how to force it down people's throats through education and such. Uh, now the dark side. The good news, so the dark side is, I define it as independent pleasure, not connecting one to anyone else. Um, and the good news in the dark side is it's not all that dark. Like there are plenty of things we can all imagine, like movies, like TV shows, like other forms of art that are purely for oneself, purely for their own sake, and are not harmful, or at the very worst, are distractions. But the bad news about this side is I think we can all think of a lot of things that aren't like that, that are more like drugs, things that seem to promise transcendence, but actually just lead to an erosion of happiness over time. Some we've discussed in detail, like violent first-person shooters in which one could be absorbed all day in just a murderous killing spree. Others we haven't touched on as much, uh, like say pornography, which in my opinion, there's no reason why that won't be the same killer app for VR that it was for the early internet. Um, how do we deal with this drug-like dark side of VR? Uh, we talked a little bit about regulation, and yes, it's possible, but then again, one man's murderous day-long killing spree is another man's fine work of art, so it's unlikely that constraints on free press are gonna be enough for this. The way I think about it is kind of what's depicted on this slide. We've created the Proto's Ring of Power, which enables all of us to do whatever we want while no one is looking. And instead of trying to get through the fires of Mordor to influence how exactly people forge this ring, we have the ring, we just have to look within ourselves to remove it. Thanks. Wow.